Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be doing some Netflix suggestions slash my favourite things from Netflix. <laughs> Started, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video if you like it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Click the bell to get notified whenever I film. Why do I do this? <laughs> Click the bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And do you mind? I'm trying to film a video. Okay. <laughs> So click the bell to get notified whenever I upload a video, I upload every Saturday, so I don't really have a time, so you know, just keep the bell on so you get notified, of, so you get notified of when I upload, so it's easier. Um, yeah, so that's everything, let's go on with the video. I've got a whole load of Netflix films and slash movies and series, so I'm going to be explaining to you why I like them, how much I like them, and kind of like a summary of them but without giving anything too much away. So we try not to do any spoilers and yeah, so comment down below your favourite things of Netflix as well and if you like or have watched any of the ones that I've watched. Okay, so the first thing which I'm actually halfway through watching right now is Vampire Diaries. So this one's going to be quite hard to explain because every single episode is like loads of stuff that happens but it's basically about these two brothers called Stefan and Damon and they are vampires and um at the beginning Stefan likes Elena and Elena likes him when he, he like moves to the school because he obviously has to move around because um he's a vampire and she ends up like finding out he's a vampire and stuff and then just the drama just keeps going on like more people find out and, they, and then you end up finding about like witches and then there's like vampires hybrids there's like loads more stuff keeps coming and then after there's also another series called the originals which i obviously haven't watched yet because i haven't finished vampire diaries sorry i talk really fast i'm really trying not to i'll try not to um but there's another series called the originals which i haven't watched yet but that is about some of the original vampires um but some of the characters are in this so you, you gotta watch that after and apparently the originals is really good so i'm excited to watch that after i watch vampire diaries so next on my list is pretty little liars and i watched this quite a while ago actually i think it was like two years ago i'm not too sure when it came out or anything or when i watched it but I like really loved it when it came out and now thinking about it I only watched the whole thing once it is kind of creepy it's about like this store so basically there's I wrote it down on here so I'm just reading it out so um it's about these four girls um Aria, Hannah, Emily and Spencer who are all best friends and um Ali so they're at a sleepover and then Ali goes missing and then they start to drift apart because she's like missing for like I think it's like a couple of years or maybe a year I don't know and then at Ali's body gets found so she's dead they all come back for the funeral and they all get texts from this person called A and they all start to become friends again as they're trying to figure out who A is and they're kind of creeped out because they're like threatening them and they're like stalking them and it's kind of like out of like a horror movie kind of it's not a horror movie though it's like it's like good and stuff there's not really many like jump scares and stuff but it's like creepy the stuff that A does to them but I think you should watch it because it's really good and every single like episode there's more and more things so basically the whole thing is I'm trying to figure out who A is whilst A is threatening them. So the next thing which I only which is the thing I watched before I watched Vam before I started watching Vampire Diaries is Gossip Girl. So it's about this like website um, called Gossip Girl and this person who runs it but you don't know who it is and they write things about people on there and about like the popular people who are like the main characters um so it's mainly about a girl called serena and she like goes away and comes back and then like you find out later in why she went away and why she came back and it's about she has a best friend called blair and then there's this other boy called dan a boy called nate and a boy called chuck i think i've missed someone out but that's like the main characters and then there's like other little you find out about each of their families and stuff and it's basically like a high school drama between like all of them because you you have the drama of like the popular kids being like having their own steps and stuff and it's just like a drama between the best friends and then all of the like boyfriends and all of the boys and the girls and 
it's very a lot of drama but it is really good watch so make sure you go watch that too and the last episode you find out who gossip girl is okay next i have got friends so this is like half and half loads of people love it and loads of people hate it so i am one of the people who love it so i hadn't actually seen I'd seen like random episodes like on the telly and stuff but I'd never actually watched the whole thing so my best friend Grace had watched it and she loves it so I decided to watch it and I absolutely love it too so it's basically about basically a group of friends and it's just like about their life and it's a little bit dramaful but it's basically it's like a comedy comedy yes that's really weird but it's basically a comedy and I don't really know what else to say about it but it's really good um, I know that it's not on Netflix for some other countries but I'm from the UK and in the UK it's still on there so I was so like annoyed when they were like it took off I was like no it's gone but then I realised it wasn't it was still here in the UK so we can still watch it on that place in the UK. Next series is 60 days in so this isn't like a this is like a real life kind of one so it's basically about six people who so the police get six people to go undercover and go inside the prisons and it's really interesting because you get to see like what it's like what it's like inside of the prisons and um, at the end they they don't know that each other are going in and some of them end up going in the same one and they have to try and stick to their cover story of what happened and this is one guy in it who's like really creepy and he like there's like loads I think there's loads of series of it there on the telly and stuff but there's only one series on Netflix and I think you should go watch it but there's this one guy who's really creepy and he starts to actually do bad stuff and you're just like you're meant to be undercover as one of the good guys yet you're doing actual bad stuff and it's kind of creepy. The next series they have is Mako Moments so I haven't actually watched this in ages I actually watched it with my nan a couple years back um and it's just like one of those things that everyone used to watch like I used to watch it I think I watched through it twice and I started watching for it and then I got a bit bored because you know I'm 15 now nearly 16 and I mean it's still good though that's the thing um it's about these mermaids basically um it's like h2o mermaids but it's make mermaids and yeah you should, you should go watch it but yeah it's just one of those things that like everyone used to want to be a mermaid right Right, comment down below if you used to want to be a mermaid. <laughs> okay, the next one is Cheer Squad. So it's about a cheer squad, basically. This is a real life one as well. Um, so it's just basically about following like this cheer group and stuff. Like I don't do cheer or anything, but I do dance. I like dancing and stuff. So it's good for anyone who likes dance or just is like. It's just interesting. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just interesting. So you should go watch it. So next I'm going to be moving on to movies. So the first one is A Cinderella Story. Now, not kidding. I've watched this like a hundred times. I swear. Like it's always on the telly. So whenever it's on the telly, my mom's like, hey, A Cinderella Story's on. So I go and watch it. So it's about, it's like The Cinderella Story, but with a bit of a twist and it's a bit different. So it's about this girl called Sam. Um, her father dies in an earthquake and she has like her step... Um, her, so basically, before her father dies, he marries, um, obviously, like this, her stepmom and stepsisters, and then he dies in an earthquake, and uh, the mum's, like, really evil. So she che texts someone who goes to her school, but they don't know e who each other are, and she's, like, a diner girl, because she works in the diner, and he's, like, one of the popular kids, so it's kind of, like they don't know and then they find out and stuff and they go to a party and stuff and just like Cinderella you guys know what happens in Cinderella so, but it's really good you should guys go watch it the next film I have which is actually one of my favorite films but it is so sad is five feet apart so you guys already know because I've probably talked about it in so many of my vlogs but five feet apart is really good it's about these people who have I can't remember what it's called but they have a condition I'll put it on the screen and it's where they have there's like a girl called Stella and she's in hostel and she has it and she has to stay six feet apart from others who have it um or they will die because something to do with their breathing and stuff and there's these two and Stella falls in love with someone else who has it they're both falling in love with each other and they decide to stay five meters apart which is a bit risky because they have to stay six meters apart um and it's basically about them falling in love and stuff and then she's also have a best friend called Poe and it's the saddest movie ever there's like a couple deaths in it and it's just so sad like the ending is so sad the first time i watched it was in the movie with my best friend when it came out was in the cinemas when it was in the cinema that's when it was in the movie and we literally cried in the cinema it's so sad just thinking about it oh my god you have to go watch it it's amazing the next one i have is angus fongs and perfect snogging so me and my sister watch this all the time like i could literally quote you the whole movie like i could just if you wanted me to i could just film a whole video of me acting out every single part in this movie because we have watched it so many times and it's so 
good. Um, so it's about this girl called Georgia, and it's basically about how her life and how it sucks and how she turns it around, kind of. So it's about her and her friend group, so there's four of them all together, and then two new hotties, as they call it, um, come into their school, and then two of the girls like them and try and get with them and stuff and try and get them to like them and stuff and it's it's really interesting and yes that's basically what it is i don't really know what else i can say about it but this is a song in it and i played it to grace um and she loved the song and she's watched it now and yeah we've just both love it it's really good remember still watch it all the time it's kind of like me and my sister's film like we watch it all the time the next film I have is After and I'm sure you've probably all watched it or heard of it but I haven't actually read the book yet so I'm going to be ordering that book. Um, I keep pointing out, I'm going to move my hands up. <laughs> um, I haven't actually read the book yet but I will. Um, but it's about this girl and she has a boyfriend but she goes to college and then there's this group of friends and this other boy and they play Truffle Dare and stuff and um, she ends up like, I don't want to give anything away. But basically... She has a boyfriend, but she ends up meeting this other guy. So that's all I'm going to say. But it may seem kind of boring, but the end is like a plot twist. And it's like, so like, oh my God, like you hate. I love the ending, but I really wish it did not end like that. But hopefully they do. I really want them to do a part two because it's like the cliffhanger is like too bad of an ending. But I don't think they are going to do a part two. So yeah, I hate the ending. It's really sad. Go watch it and you'll see the plot twist of the ending. The next movie I have is The Kissing Booth and this is about a girl called... It's about this girl, I can't remember her name, and then she has a brother and he has a best friend. So, Okay, so I just wanted to clear this up because I realised I said it really weirdly. So the girl at the front is called Elle and she has a best friend called Flynn and then Flynn has a brother called Noah who is the one that she falls for. So I feel like I, I messed it up when I was speaking about it. But Flower, Flower. <laughs> Flower. <laughs> I meant Noah and Flynn. Next is To All the Boys I've Loved Before and To All the Boys I Loved Before, P.S. I Still Love You. So I haven't read the books of these. I really want to read the books for these too because it was a book before it was a film. And there's three books, I think, three or four, but there's, I think there's three books. So the first one was... They, all three of them were books and then the first one turned into a movie, the second one turned into a movie and I really hope they turn the third one into a movie because I haven't read the third book but it seems like it'll be interesting seeing as one and two is really good. So it's about this girl called... Anna Laura? La Laura? Anna Laura? I don't really know. So it's about this girl and she writes letters to all her crushes throughout the years and there ends up being five letters and her little sister Kitty mails them all out to them. So they all think that she has a crush on them now because she didn't put like a date on, it, on any of them and basically one of them was her um friend her old like best friend one of them was her sister's ex like her other sister's ex and her sister had like flown away but she still kind of liked him a bit but she had to try and so she had to try and make him think that she didn't like him so she got with pretend got with someone else so they planned to pretend to be together to make the other guy realize that she doesn't like him anymore and part two is just like even more drama it's like another boy who ends up coming in you're like what how many boys does she like so for a recap the things that are here the series is are vampire diaries pretty little liars gossip girl friends angus from the perfect snogging after five feet apart 60 days in kissing booth to all the boys i loved before Two other boys I love before PS I still love you. Cheer Squad, Mako Mermaids, and a Cinderella story. So I've got a couple of things that I'm going to watch. So make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video if you like it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Click the bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. I think that's everything. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Comment down any video ideas you want me to do during quarantine because I have actually got quite a few videos planned to do. Not to do, I've got quite a lot of videos already filmed. Um, so it will last me hopefully until the end of quarantine I'm really hoping but we don't know when the end of quarantine is going to be so yes comment down below if you just want me to do like a chatty video where I just chat about random stuff like you just give me topics um, because I feel like that might be interesting because I'm a really good rambler and I feel like it will make a long video and it might be kind of interesting hopefully so comment down below if you want me to do that and yes I'll see you guys in my next video bye love you Mwah.